So regardless of what you cut in, whether or not it's PIR, PUR, or mineral wall panels, we thoroughly recommend that it's the Trump TPC 165 is cleaned every single day. That's especially important if you are cutting mineral wall panels, because if you don't clean it every single day, then there's chemicals in the mineral wall that can seize up the machine's chain, the blade, and also get into the inner workings of the machine. It just means that it seizes things up and makes the machine unusable, which means you have to buy a new chain and or blade, which can cost a bit of money. So obviously, before you clean the machine at the end of the day, make sure it's unplugged, and it's not in any power source. Um, the first thing you do is take out the tool here. And what you need to do is you need to use this to undo. Now, what we would say is that to make life easy for you, if you use on-tool extraction, this will be a piece of cake because most of the uh, residue and things that will be in here, it'll have been extracted just as you use a machine. So it'll be a lot easier. So just take that off and that shows the inner workings of the machine. So usually this will be full of um, swarf, metal, and also insulation slash um, the fibers of the mineral wool. So at this point, the easiest thing to do is, if it is full, is to get an extraction on it and just hoover it out, essentially. Now, I would say also that make sure that you get down here into the inner workings of the machine. Best thing to do for that is to put the blade down and then get right in there. So wipe it all down uh, and then if you cut in PIR and PUR panels, then that's as much as you need to do. If you cut in mineral wool, we really recommend that you go around here with a fine tooth comb. So we recommend a clean paintbrush or a toothbrush, something like that, where you can get into these teeth and into these uh, linkages. Um, and if you want to be really good with it the best thing to do is to take this chain and this blade off and soak it in some oil overnight so i'll show you now how you would take this chain and blade off so here there's a little uh, bit here which you just put the tool in So you do that and the whole blade will just fall out. So we recommend putting the chain just in some oil and then there is some pieces here. You can see here, this bit of the blade here, you want to submerge in oil overnight. So we recommend just standing that and the chain in a container. And then when you come to it in the morning, it'll be good as new. Fit it back on there, you get your blade, you get your chain, you need to make sure that you're going to put your chain on the right way around. There is some markings here that show the correct way around that it should be, so I need to turn that around. Then and then you just feed it back in here. There we go. And then just make sure that's tight and that's all good to go. So whenever you take the chain off the blade, 
you need to check that the chain tension is enough. That needs to go a bit tighter. So all you do is you tighten this screw. Make sure it gets just a bit tighter. Put your housing back on there. And you're good to go.